This lamp right here that I picked up the other day is solid brass. It's all solid brass. Even the shade part of it is brass. My first thought was to scrap it, but <sighs> I don't think so right now. I'm going to think about that, but because that can be cleaned up. That can be made real shiny. Um... Takes one of them long bubs, I call it a weenie bulb, because it's shaped like a hot dog. Um, I guess I unplug my fan. Yeah, I, I think I better not scrap that just yet. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Gonna think about it, but it's all solid brass. I'm trying to figure out how I could mount this fan. I'm thinking. need to mount that it and hit those a breeze buddy I got it on oscillate right now I've got another one out there about this side hello dolly well hello dolly <laughs> You're crazy old man. <laughs> Used to do that when I was in the when I was a kid, you get in front of a fan and go, oh no, nah. well it ain't working anymore, but but back in them days the fan was metal and you didn't play around them too much. Now these things are all flat. As a matter of fact, you could reach in there and stop that play with your finger. It might sting a little bit, but it won't hurt. It won't cut you. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Hello. How are you? Hey, hey. Not there. Right here. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get this thing set back in here. Oh, I gotta stop it from oscillating. There we go. Oh. I know how I can mount. Am I still recording? I just had a brain on Something just caught my eye. Oh, my swivel chair buck made me fall. My new, my new chair I got out of the, look at this. Or should I have it up higher? I'm going to put it in there, like right about there. Now. that folks can I even make it oscillate nope nope go the other way we are that'll hold that 
But right now, I'll decide how I can do it permanent. Now, that was some dauber ingenuity. Um, uh, I made a little bit of a copper score the other day. Friend that gave me them cables a while back, give me a bunch of these at first. I thought they was aluminum, but he said, no, sir, that's copper. That's a half a pound. And he gave me about 20 of these things. I cut into one to make sure, and it's copper. It is copper. So, about 10 pounds worth of that stuff, I would think. And he won't talk to me on camera. He, I don't know why, you know, but he, he won't. You got to respect that. You got to respect. <sighs> now I'm still trying to get myself organized. Where's all? There they are. Um. got a lot of I've still got all right this is trash here that sails over what can I put in there just to be scrapped uh, I'm not sure about this I think it's for a laptop I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna put it in there right now because to be looked at. This is going in the trash. Um, I just kind of been laying back here the last few days, not really pushing it, and I have got I have got to get busy. Um, that air conditioner I found, oh, uh, it, the blower fan don't work. I might could tear into that thing and fix it. I don't know, but I got that. Uh, get myself organized that goes in there that goes over there uh, you know what folks if I could if I could move around like I was ten years ago not even that seven years ago maybe six <sighs> I could get a lot done but having to stop every five or six minutes and rest my back and Oh, oh, I may want to drop that down just a little bit for it. Yeah, I think I do. It's not hit me just. Better. Yeah, now I can feel the breeze. <sighs> Phew. I got to 
get the uh, I got I need to get these laptops on eBay. I got four I need to put on eBay. I, either that or take them apart. But I think I can get more for them. I think I can get forty dollars for the four. And what I can get for scrap out of them ain't gonna even come close to that. Uh, that's probably my best bet there. I have to do that on my grandson's account. As you know, if you've been watching my videos, you know eBay is suspending me indefinitely. And can't blame eBay, but you know what? Uh, you can't it, it they act like you they got a lifelong contract with you and I broke a contract well they ain't got a lifelong contract with me they uh it just the, the lady I was selling to on eBay decided she wanted to buy from me direct and I went for it. Saved me hundreds of dollars in fees and stuff. Okay. Well I turn got this other thing. And gonna see if it works. Okay, is it cheap life? <laughs> this scrap. You know what? Let me turn that sucker off. No, I can't. Scrap. I was for sure thinking this would work. I was for sure thinking this would work. Oh well. Another motor, some more cord. Here's scrap. I'm wondering, this is them things that goes on your, goes on your fan. I don't know what's in them things. I'm going to cut that thing open.
not today though. That's a pretty good chunk of aluminum. Dang, let's see. What time is it? Tonight is Survivor Night. For those of you that don't know, I am, it's 503. I am a Survivor nut. I have watched. I have watched every single Survivor series except the first one. I did not watch the first one. And after it was all over and that Richard Hatch guy won it, uh, I went back and started looking at the replays of it, and I liked it. So when the next one come on, I watched it, and I I watched I have watched every single one, and I've always had this thing that it would really tick me off if I was right in the middle of one of them series maybe halfway through them and died and not know <laughs> of course I ain't gonna know that I don't know but I just think wouldn't that be a kick in the butt Cause I really get into them. I even make lists of the names and what the people do and how old they are. I even I even grab some pictures of them and stuff, and I make predictions about who is gonna make it and who ain't and all that. Sometimes I'm pretty much dead on the money, and uh, I was dead on the money that second time Boston Rob run. Uh, I didn't like that sucker. I don't know why, but everybody obeyed him like he was God. Man, they should have blindsided his butt. But no, they didn't do it. They done what Boston Rob said. And now the series is on now, him and uh, Susan. Susan's won it twice. He's won it once. He's played twice. And he's won it once. Uh, matter of fact, the lady he married, Amber, she was the winner of one of them. And he married her. But, uh, and he's on now with Susan, but they're not playing in the game. They can't win the million dollars, but they're hid away somewhere, and the people go to this island thing, and and uh, they go in there, and he they mentor them. You know, they talk to them about what how they should do and shouldn't do, and all that stuff. And then they give them a chance to win a. a an advantage or sometimes an idol and uh, so but right now nobody knows they're there except the two people that's already been to the island and talked to them and they lied through the teeth when they got back I don't know why they lied I mean I would have told the truth I wouldn't have told them that I want an idol or anything like that uh, And they, well, you'd have to watch it. But I'm really into it. I, boy, I wish they, I wish no part like me could be in that. But you, you wouldn't be able, you couldn't make it. You absolutely couldn't hold up to it. Because it's, it's, it's pretty physical. Couldn't do it. But boy, I sure wish that they had that back in the day when I could have done it. But it is what it is. I got a bunch more of this copper cable I have to strip. That's about a half a pound right there. Yes, it is. I got a bunch of them. Matter of fact, I got a lot of work to do out here. Uh, today is Wednesday. 
I hadn't been out on my scooter, which reminds me I need to unplug the charter, charger. And I will go out tomorrow, uh, which will be Thursday. And then Friday, I'll sure go out on trash day for Friday, for sure. And you see this thing here? I, last time I was at Harbor Freight, I bought this. And it's an adjustable tool to take these, go in there and do that. And some of these tools got different size spaces on them hammer, hand, on these tools. And you can adjust the tool. You can loosen that up and move that in or out. But I don't particularly like it. Paid, I think I paid seven dollars for that thing. I think I'm going in the house. It's kind of cloudy. I hope it's a pretty day tomorrow. We went along about three or four weeks without any rain, and all of a sudden we've had it for the last two or three days. So much for that. I'm going to go in there and eat my supper. My, my daughter fixed supper at 10 o'clock this morning because she, she had to go to bed. She has to work tonight. And she told everybody, she said, each one of y'all, she got something she calls meatloaf balls. And they're delicious and they're in a sauce of some kind. And she fixed enough of them for everybody to have two. And she went around and told everybody, you eat it now, that's your supper. You ain't got nothing for tonight. So I didn't eat mine. So there's mashed potatoes, green beans, and meatloaf balls. And if there's some extra green beans left, I'm going to get some some of them. I love them. Fun. They take the turn. They're not healthy. I mean, the bean itself is. But the way she fixes it, like my wife used to teach her to do, she fills that pan up with these French green beans and sits there and simmers them things in bacon grease. They are delicious. But like I said, they're not good for you. Um, you know, something else been on my mind. Uh, before I got on YouTube, I didn't even look at anything on YouTube. And my, what I was doing, I was working in my wood shop some, but it wasn't really fulfilling enough or profitable enough. I don't know, but I was just killing time uh, to die. And I mean that literally. I, I was, I was, I was killing time just to die. My frame of mind was, I'm finished. I'm done. I'm not contributing anything, and that—that that was my thoughts. Oh. Uh, And for some reason, I went to look. Somebody said, go on YouTube, you can find something that'll tell you how to do that, something I'd want to do. So I went on YouTube and started looking around. <clears throat> and I stumbled across Chris and Holly show. This is way back when they were small potatoes. Uh, 
they was bar they did they were doing dumpster diving, selling at yard sales and stuff like that and reselling stuff. Um they were they were monetized already and they had some income from it, but I don't know what their lot rent where they had their trailer set. I don't know what it was, but usually it was probably a hundred, two hundred dollars a month, something like that. And one month they said, you know, we almost got enough on our check from YouTube this month to pay the lot rent. So that kind of gives you an idea of what their income is. I don't have a clue what their income is now. They're only at 41,000 subscribers. Uh, their subscriber count is not moving very fast when you compare it to somebody like Scrap and Pallet Man. I mean, Scrap and Pallet Man is just blowing it away. I mean, boy, he's, he's moving. But I stumbled across their channel and I started watching it. And I liked them. I loved what they was doing. And I still, I'm still subscribed to them. I, I hardly ever watch any of their videos now. I, I go check, see what's going on. Because they've got totally away from what they were doing and how they were doing it. And they've moved to some island somewhere. They can't even drive their vehicle to their house. They have to take a boat and you have to pay for that if you don't have your own boat. And they don't have their own boat. But I watch them. They, occasionally they'll go out and dump drive. I watch those. And I still like them, but I ain't, I ain't lost anything on Smith Island. That's just me, you know, and they got to do what they got to do. But they've changed quite a bit from when I was first started watching. And I was watching before they even had that baby. And he's two now, I think. So I remember him when he was a baby bump. <laughs> but they're the ones got me started, and he's the one who encouraged me to uh, do a start doing videos on YouTube but up to then I had I had I had no answer to YouTube but then I got started and what my mindset was back what I'm trying to say is before I got started on YouTube was I was just killing time to die that's as a matter of fact, this might be the title of my video this time. Killing Time to Die. <sighs> it's not fun being there. Oh, uh, but now, almost two years later, uh, I'm not killing time to die now. I'm I'm uh, enjoying making the videos. I, I enjoy the heck out of my subscribers, especially my loyal ones. Uh, everything has just changed. Now I want to stick around. I'd like to stick around at least, let's see, 78, at least to 98. If I could stick around that long, Uh, I would be a happy man. I'm a happy man now that I'm on YouTube. Um, that I don't know. I just hard for me to think I was thinking that way then, but I was. I was, uh, but I, I, I'm just so thrilled with 
my channel, my little channel, my little 771 subscribers. I'm just thrilled and so happy that I've, I've got this channel and it makes me feel the way it does. And a lot of you people, you, you make me feel like I'm somebody and things matter. I mean, things mattered before you two, but I was just kind of down. But, gosh, thank you guys so much. So much. I just, I just, I really didn't mean to go there today on that. But, I did. And, but anyway, I'm going to cut that out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ding. <laughs> Ignorant old man. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Right on that. It, well, if my big toe down there hadn't been amputated, I'd have been in trouble because that's where it hit. <laughs> but, but it got just enough of the foot that I felt it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, old man. I got to pick that thing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh uh, yeah that thing caught my foot and I don't even know why I was picking it up now that thing weighs probably 10 pounds ah, I don't even know why I was grabbing it now yeah, I'm sure glad that big toe was gone because it would have mashed it for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> dauber dauber. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> I think just the thought of it hitting that toe made me feel pain that I really didn't get hit on nothing. But I think, you know, that that phantom toe. That's a lot of times I start that toe starts hurting and then it's not even there. But people say that's impossible. No, it ain't impossible. You get the nerves that went to that toe still there. I guess that's got something to do with it. Anyway, folks, I appreciate y'all. I love you all. And I'm going to try to call Scrap and Pallet Man tonight. I need to talk to that joker. Boy, he is, he is on fire. Okay, guys. Love you all. And catch you on the next video. That's what I was going to start doing when I started to end the video. I was going to say, I'll catch you on the next video. So... The lady that reminded me of that, there you go. I'm going to catch you on the next video. I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> okay. That's funny. <laughs> GoPro. Oh, shoot. Go. <sighs> GoPro stuff. Oh, so mighty. <laughs> yeah. Lord, I'm worth it. Go, fool. Hmm, all right. GoPro, stop recording.